up everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be unboxing ipsy glam bag plus for the month of november so for those of you who don't know ipsy is a monthly subscription service that sends you beauty items they do have three different box sizes they have the ipsy glam bag which is 12 dollars a month for five deluxe size samples every once in a while i do get a full size they have the ipsy glam bag plus which is this bag here it retails for 25 dollars a month for five full size items but then there's the Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate, which is $50 a month for eight full-size items and four deluxe-size samples. Every bag does come with a makeup bag, or I guess I should say every subscription comes with a makeup bag. Um, the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus is the only one that comes with a drawstring bag. The other two subscriptions come with actual makeup bags. If you're interested in any of the Ipsy subscription boxes, I will leave my referral code down below. And if you're into subscription boxes, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. So I really enjoy the plus bag because you get five full size items a month and out of the five, you get to customize three of them. And that is something fairly new that Ipsy did, which I do enjoy a lot. But anyway, here is the bag this month. So it does kind of have like this tri color here. This is almost like a peachy color. Then there's a brown and a navy blue and the whole back of it's navy blue. It does have like the peach colored drawstrings and on the inside it's just kind of white and then it has all of your products so the theme for november is be present and then this one does not tell all of your products and i think i realized why they don't do it for the plus i think because you get to choose three items they don't customize this little card for you like they do typically with the ipsy glam bag and the ipsy glam bag ultimate but I'm going to start with the two items that Ipsy chose for me. So the first item is from Yesna. This is their silk bronzing base. So it's sunlit glow bronzer and brush duo. And here is the packaging. And I don't exactly know how I feel about this. So it does come with a brush. And then this is the bronzer. So it looks comes in this packaging. And it's a silk bronzing base. So it says lightweight silk cream bronzer leaves skin with a natural, healthy, and sun-kissed tan powered by eight superfood essence. So it says you can apply this for a natural contoured look on forehead, cheekbones, and jaw. Bring down onto chest for a natural tan. But like, I just feel like the color of this is like, I feel like that's a bit intense for me. So I don't really know how I feel about this product yet. I'm not going to swatch it or anything just because I really don't know how I feel about this. So if you've tried this, comment down below, especially if you're somebody like super pale like me and let me know how it worked out for you. But I'm not entirely sure about this item. The second item that they chose for me is from Tristique and it's their Good Vibes Mascara. So this is a mascara that also has a curler on it as well. So I've actually gotten this, I want to say, within a FabFitFun box, and I have not used it yet, to be completely honest. But here is what it looks like. So this is the mascara, and then on top of it, it does have an eyelash curler. So it says flip it down to curl. It's a little bit hard to see. So then, wait, how exactly do you flip this down? Is it here? Okay, so apparently you take this part right here. And then it like curls your lashes. I have not used this yet. I've never used an eyelash curler before. I don't exactly know how I feel about this. But I mean, it's interesting to say the least. And I think it's really innovative if you do use like a mascara and a curler. So I might just use it for the mascara, but I'm undecided right now. I have so many mascaras, so I'm not going to open the wand. And I know the other one that I got in FabFitFun, I haven't even opened that one yet either. So I don't want to open the newest one that I have. So to be completely honest, I wasn't super blown away by like the two choices that Ipsy had for me this month. I don't feel like it was really personalized to my profile. And I did get an email saying that Ipsy feels like they didn't exactly customize it to me. So next month, they're giving me a little discount for the add-on. So if I buy one for $3, I get another one for $3 free. So that was just, I guess, their way of saying, hey, we messed up a little bit. But anyway, let me go on to the next item. And this is the first item that I chose. And I will also show like the items that I had to choose from. But I got from Tula Skincare, the Face Filter Blurring and Moisturizing Primer. And I was really excited about this. I was so happy to see that this was a choice item. So this is one fluid ounce. So it apparently has probiotics and superfoods in it. 
So it has probiotics, licorice, chia seeds, and turmeric. So this brand is cruelty free and it says this won't clog your pores. It's also formulated without paraben sulfates, phthalates, mineral oils. There's a pretty long list here. Fragrance, which is awesome. I like that this is not fragrance because I did have a Tula item that was like too heavily fragranced and I couldn't handle it anymore. So let me take this out of the packaging. So here's what it looks like. It has like the typical Tula colored packaging. And it looks like it does have a very nice pump on it, so I am excited to use this. I'm just curious. It says no fragrance, but I just wanted to see if there was like any scent at all, because you never know with these products. So I will say I wasn't really blown away by any of the items in the next two choices, but I decided to get an item from Complex Culture, which I know we've gotten a lot of brushes from this brand, but from my understanding, it's kind of related to Ipsy. So this is their Deal Closer Tinted Lip Cream. It's a six-in-one lightweight nourishing lip wear. It's really hard to tell, but here is the outer packaging on that. And they had a couple different shades to choose from, and I got mine in, let me find out, they don't have it on the packaging. Do they have it here? Let's see. I got mine in mauve nude, and I will say I really like this packaging a lot. I think it looks really cool with like the frosted glass. This looks really, really nice. Let's see if it has a scent to it. Hello little bit of a scent. It has more of like a makeup-y scent compared to like, like a fruity type of scent. So here is the applicator. And then here is the color and it's a very pretty. It can just kind of give you like a light flush of color since it does say it is lightweight. It also said, what else did it say about it? Let me see. Says the six in one lip tint provides sheer buildable color while pampering your lips with creamy hydration and soothing benefits. So this looks really, really nice. And it is a cruelty free brand as well and dermatologist tested. I do like this color a lot. I think it was a really good choice that I picked. And then the last item again, I wasn't really crazy about anything in the selection. I almost went with the um, highlighter. I think it was from Flesh. I don't wear highlighters too often. But I decided to go with the item from Seraphine Botanicals. This is their Fruit Butter Lip Mask. And I just figured this is always like an item that you can go wrong with. So this brand is cruelty free and vegan. So this is formulated in Italy. It does have a seal on it, but here's what the packaging looks like. So this will be really cool to try out. But that brings me to the end of this video. And I know the value of it is there. But personally, I'm not super blown away by this bag. Like, I think if I knew the items that I was going to get, I maybe would have paused. And I feel like this happens with Ipsy a lot. Like, it's very hit or miss. Like, some months I love, and then some months I'm like, eh, you know, it's just okay. But what really is saving the bag for me is the item from Tula Skincare and the item from Complex Culture. But anyway, go ahead and comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this bag, if you think it was worth it or not. I will say that I saw some spoilers for December and they did look a lot better, so I'm excited about that. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.